Okay, guys, so here we go. I sent my husband to go get the A&W burger. Today is the first day that these burgers are out. Unfortunately, you know what? They wanted to make us vegans happy, but not quite because they don't put vegan sauce. And I figure if you're going to go as far as putting these burgers out there in your franchise, do it right and get the sauces in that should go into these burgers yes i know there's a lot of people that are not vegan and they don't want to have um a meat all the time great for you but you know what for us i think it's important that if you're going to do something that's a vegan burger do it right or don't do you it should all. use vegan sauces and vegan mayo the vegan yeah burger. it's a vegan burger you should have vegan sauces and vegan mayo in there. It really isn't, it doesn't take uh, that much out of them because you know what, there's a lot of vegans that uh, don't have time to uh, either make lunch or they're in a pinch and it would be great if they could pick up something to eat, but you know, they still did it half cocked. Sorry a and you tried, but personally I think you should have tried a little harder and then for sure, you would have made a killing. Now, people are going to have to tell you, don't put the sauces because you didn't do you didn't do what you had to do. Right, Erica? Okay. So, now we're going to try this. It's the first time I'm trying this meat. Have you tried this meat before, no. Erica? No? So, we're going to try this. And I will um, post it on my Facebook and let you know what I think about this Beyond Meat burger. Right? It's the Beyond Meat? Yes. It is, eh? It says it on the package right here. Oh, there it is, Beyond Meat. So I'm going to let you know what I think about this. And Phil, what did you have them put into the burger? Mustard, uh, the regular, it's just don't put no sauce. Just put mustard, uh, ra mustard, mustard pickles, uh, onions, tomatoes, and salad. Okay, so hubby had them dressed up just a little different because of that sauce. And you know what? If that sauce was vegan, I think we would have really enjoyed having a burger where you just buy it and put it in your mouth rather than having to tell them, oh, can you hold this back? The whole idea of having a vegan burger is that you don't have to tell them, can you hold this back because it's not vegan. If I were you guys, go back to the drawing board and do it right so we can actually come to your store and buy some vegan food. So there you go. It's a good start. I mean, they are... It is a good start. They are putting things out there. Okay, so um, I will post this on Facebook and I'll tell you what I think about the meat because it's the first time I'm having it. I usually make my own, as you guys know, right? Okay, so because I don't have that special sauce, I'm going to put some vegan mayo in mine. Here we go. But yeah, they should have really, you know, you're going to do it, do it right. And get yourself a separate grill. I really don't want to eat burgers that yeah. have been grilled on... Uh, There's uh, mayo over there, huh? Hmm? There's mayo. Uh, relish. Relish, if you want. Yeah, maybe I'll put some relish. I just didn't want it to taste like a regular, everyday burger, right? The idea is to be able to buy it and yeah. have its own... I know. You know, know. kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? So, we are going to try it. I don't know how often I will personally buy this because the idea that it's being cooked the on the same good. grill, and my husband says the prices are crazy, but the idea that it's being cooked on next to meat really does not, does not excite me. So, it just looks like a store-bought patty to me. That's what it looks like. But... First time trying Beyond Meat, and I'll let you know what I think about this, guys. Oh, what a pain in the butt to have to do this. Okay, I'm going to cut my burger in half. Hopefully I won't lose half of it. Guys, I'll let you know. Hold on. What does the meat taste like? Okay, so I like I like the taste of the meat. It has that um, yeah. that taste of that meat that I when I used to buy burgers at the at the fast uh, burger joints. So the taste is very good. 
I did dress it the way how I can dress it because I don't have the special I would love to have had a vegan special sauce on this it's good but then again pardon you know what it tastes like? What's the burger you used to buy that you like before they became? No. No. The one that we used to buy from Costco. Oh, Gardein. The Gardein? Yeah. Oh, the Gardein? I don't know. It tastes like the Gardein burger. Okay, so oh, the burger is good. A little expensive. I think my husband's. How much did it cost, though? $24 for three. $24 for three burgers. But if you're in a pinch, I say, um, I say this is great. You could go there and buy it. I don't know how you like the idea that it's being cooked on the same grill as um, meat meat patties. I'm not crazy about that. Um, but it's nice to know that we could actually buy something if we're on the road and we're like hungry and we want to have something quick to eat. That's a good thing. Uh, Price-wise, I think it's a little crazy. As long as they tag it vegan, they jack up the price. Um, the problem is it's not even vegan because if you don't tell them not to put that sauce, you're going to get non-vegan sauces on your burger. So make sure to tell them to hold back on that sauce. And if I were you, I say uh, write them a letter, guys, and tell them to get something that we can actually enjoy and not have to worry about can you hold this back and can you hold that back. But otherwise, the meat, Beyond Meat, is delicious. And that's not thanks to A&W, that's thanks to Beyond Meat. So thank you guys for trying to push your stuff out there so life could be a lot easier for us vegans. So there you go guys, the Beyond Meat A&W Burger. I just wish it was a complete package. So I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.